long way, actually. That is great art. I can't believe they actually put in art in the streets in Ilkeston now. I think that's beautiful. Look at that, that's so contemporary. Very minimal. Beautiful, look at this. Look, anyway. look at a distance. Oh, you're doing it. You're, you're filming it. I just right? want to yeah, I'm get a load of this incredible contemporary art. It's wonderful. Look at this piece of... I think this is definitely a responsibility of Thomas. This is great it's installation of it. Start the shop there, right? I think Thomas Hall's done this. No, 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 don't keep moving around all the time. Just do it like a little static shot, and then just pan upwards. Move here, go to that, and I'll well, just... Well, I just think that's an incredible check art. Check this. This is actually by Damien Hurst. Cool. Get in there. The yeah. meaning of death. And then if you just pan up there... This was actually <laughs> produced by Thomas Hall. The meaning of death. I, I think there's more to it. If you just cl click up there. I think no, no. Look at someone's that's window. No. No, that's Thomas's window up there. No, that is a form of art. I've got to. It's definitely, definitely video art. No, but Richard, film I just saw a naked woman in that window. No. The effects of obesity. Wonderful art. Is, it, is this a contemporary thing that's been installed in to Ilkeston? Specifically it's by... It's a warning against eating too much McDonald's and turkey Twizzlers. But why are they putting all this art up in Ilkeston then? I don't know, it's just sort of... It's government sponsored by mainly Tony Blair. <laughs> and it was a way of distracting... David Cameron, isn't it? It was a way of distracting from all these shepherds getting their heads blown off by bombs. I'm interested in that, that's in good art. And, you know, I, I mean, think that was going you, on. I don't think you've got a right touching it really, have you James? It's worth, shit about it, could be worth, it could be worth millions. Yeah, but who gives a shit about the war when you can look at something like this? That is beautiful that art. That is the meaning, you know, for me, of basically life. I just come out and I should what do you think, like this. What's it called? Have a look at the little label at the bottom, I don't know. I can't what's, the piece, what's this piece called? The rudiments of dieting in the 20th century. Wow, that's what I would call great art. It says something curated by Thomas Hall. It has, this is actually a digital sculpture. It's digital. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Baby, come on, let's move on. Hi there, can you tell us about this amazing new concept in association with Thomas Hall? Well this is my first piece of installation art here. It's very significant of the degradation of society and um, it shows basically the form and abstractness of the, the, the floor. Thanks. And it, all its beautiful detail. That is good. I also want you to... Pizza box. This is very <laughs> Sarchi. I want to say mm. this, this one has been commissioned by Sarchi. Um, and it's got an ant on it at the moment, which makes mm. it adds to that depth. Oh, yeah! Um, I want to say that this, I mean, look at the actual way it's presented. It's very in tune with um, modern society and Americanization. It's basically called the American Pizza Box, but it's in Britain. Um, that is beautiful, man. So How much is it? It's probably going for around about nine, um, 900,000, that one. 900,000, that is a bargain. I want someone to buy it, please. Buy right, them. On to oh, exhibition. Anyway. This yeah, is I mean, exhibition, yeah. exhibition part, whatever. And this is called Robotic Society. And this is a piece of architecture, a plan for a new architectural revolutionary design in futurism. This is actually futuri futurism. This is just your obsession with the Matrix, yes? Yeah? Yeah. No, it's futurism. Classic futurism. It's an installation piece. Probably not as good as the what likes of Thomas Hall and Jefferson. Well, you hit your finger. Well, I, something to, well, I'll tell you in a minute. 
I just want everyone to look at this beautiful piece of... When you punch me oh. in the ass. Yes, how much do you reckon this piece of installation art do you reckon is going to be worth? It's called Probably BBQ. Probably about 10p. B Robotic Society BBQ. It's not worth anything because it's all crap. And I, I think this fag packet in there is just adds to the... Look at the rust on that. Adds right. to the uh, you don't, level you of depth. How do you think they created that rust? Yeah. This is very yeah. depth. Was it with a form of paint or...? Very contemporary, isn't it? Is it digital? Was Thomas Hall involved? I think he was. Just introduce me as maybe, you know, someone who's in your documentary before any other... So then, James. So, so it's on. James. So, what do you think of this? This work in this gallery here. I mean, look at this um, depth of art. I like Cromwell. And what does it say? Let's see. What, what does it? Crom? Does it say Cromwell? Cromwell. And it's got a picture of a phallus. This is a picture phallus. of um, eyes and a nose. And then there's a mouth there. Well, it's not upside down. Off the mouth. So I give them about a C, a grade C for that. Really? Although well, well, this is shit the way they've done this. Anyone who writes a C like that is obviously crap at art, and basically I give them a D. Sorry. I think it's, I think it's unique, raw, powerful work. I don't understand work. why they've decided to spray it all in pink. I think it's very it's iconic, this. There's yeah, hom homosexual aspect of this, which I'm all for, you know, I believe in uh, equal opportunities in art, but I don't think many gay people would like this, because, you know, it brings Oliver Cromwell into just as Go on then, start again. Hi there! I'm Thomas Hall, and I'm good at programming. Look at my sign. I made it using digital technology. What did you use? A ZX Spectrum 48K and an Apple Mac, made in 2011 by Apple. <laughs> Films. That's proper installation art. I love it. <laughs> Hi! You ready? You filming? Hi! This is Tomorrow's World and I'm Thomas Hall. This is my latest digital creation. It's a crane lifting cars. Can you tell if this is CGI or real? I created this on an Apple Mac made in 1942 by Hitler and a ZX Spectrum 48K, <laughs> which I've modified slightly with my excellent programming skills because I have the fingers of a wizard. Check it. But no social skills. Bye! Action! Is it playing? Yep. Okay, hi eh? I just want to introduce you to a new, a new project that I'm doing at the moment, installation piece. And basically this is it, here, that I've just discovered. And I'm going to transport it. Come back to me, please. Please, uh, try and get us both in if you, if you can, James. I'm going to basically transport this. As it is here, I'm going to have to record it all. Because I'm very, you know, that's... Because I'm a great artist, I'm going to have to try and resent keep it as it is so if you just want to film it so I can take it back and put it back in order when it gets to the studio
to the gallery. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay, I've got to build, put this back together at the Contemporary Studios in um, London, London's main gallery, Sarchi. And see, see all these bits here. I want to put them back and recreate them back in that order because this, I think, signifies mm. art. Oh yeah, art. And also remember, who is your collaborator? Thomas Hall. Thomas Hall has inspired me to do this this work, and he wants to. Thomas Hall actually wants to um, make it digital as well. I can I just want to tell everyone about my new... Well, you could always do a voiceover afterwards, couldn't you remember? Well, I don't want to, I want to talk about it now, because it's quite a good sound. Right, everybody, um, this is another piece called the knackered bed, which goes one step further, because I'm, I don't want to be stuck, this goes one step further than Tracy Hemming's work. It's better than an unmade bed, it's actually... I can't see any condoms or anything. Uh, I can't see any kind of... I think there's been a lot of sexual activity on this bed, though. The beautiful bit... Look, I've even added. Shit. See that? We've even added a bit of extra there. It's got a, it. a brick. That's the worst piece of shit I've seen in my life. Do you realise this represents utopia and apocalyptic existence in a modern civilised society? James, you're, doing, you're only you're only I making it. you're only making it even more interesting. This is the worst piece of art I've ever seen in my life. It's a disgrace. It's beautiful art, James. I hate it. This is worse than piss Christ. What have you done? I was going to use that in my exhibition. I was going to use that in my exhibition, James. Well, fuck your exhibition. This is real art, though. I hate your exhibition because it's shit. It's capturing the abandonment of relic society and relics of society of modern society. Throw away. It's all about throwaway culture. You've destroyed it. I was going to talk about throwaway art. Go back to your sponsors and talk to them about it, because I'm not interested in Press, any more of give your... Give me someone that's been on appeal now. Give me someone that's been on appeal now. You want to put this on it? No. There you are. You'll never catch me out on that one. How, you gonna, how can you say that's not art? You'll never catch me out. Hey,